I got injured with a motorcycle wreck, a uh, very serious one right before the, the guest posing. But yeah, I, what happened with that, if you want to get into that, because I've always been curious uh, about that motorcycle wreck. It was a bad one, head on with a car, twilight, on like a one and a half lane road. I was riding it like it was mine, and the car came around a blind curve and head on. I almost got out of the way, but knocked me probably 150 feet into the woods, missed every tree, but I, I was a mess. Uh, ended up having a miracle of God. I look back now, um, I didn't hit a tree, it would have snapped me in two. We would probably go around 40, 45 mile an hour. So. Um, Where did that take place? Atlanta. Okay. And um, so, they initially were gonna amputate my right arm and Sting saved me on that. Sting was there in the middle of the night, he come back from a show. I was off that night. Don't ask me how I got off, but I was off. That was why I was riding my bike. And um, he was at a show and he came back and then came right to the hospital. And uh, he got Dr. Andrews out of Birmingham. He's a world renowned sports orthopedic. And uh, the people in Atlanta wanted to amputate my right arm. It was really bad. Uh, multiple fractures through the skin. That was, I had a lot of injuries, but that was the worst of it. And uh, Sting heard them talking about amputating the arm, having emergency surgery. He called Dr. Andrews, Andrews don't let him do that. Tell him to clean him up and send him to Birmingham the next day, which we did. And Dr. Andrews somehow put that arm back together and I was in the ring like seven months later. Wow. Unbelievable recovery. I mean, I went, did made my debut as the narcissist like seven months later. Did it have the same strength as before or was there? Well, I, I had to, build back up but the one you know the good thing about bone breaks are they put they I still have steel rods in there that thing with the steel rod in my forearm was the real deal I had a titanium plate about seven inches long which I still have in my right arm to hold the bones together and once the bones heal you know that, that the, that's pretty solid you worry about it a little bit but um, doctors assure me you know with that titanium plate near the bones are healed you can start working out and get in the ring again and um, the uh, neurological stuff, they thought maybe I might have some neurological damage because the damage still sphered the arm down in my elbow and my hand, but there was none. My, my uh, right hand and uh, forearm and arm got, was as strong or stronger than, the, than the, my left arm. So wow. it was, a, a, I look back now, I give God the credit, but, uh, uh, but it, was a, it was a miraculous recovery for sure. What did the WWE initially say to you after, right after that accident? Did they always say it's going to be here for you when you're, when you're back? Or were you afraid that for a bit that you were going to be possibly released? Oh, no. I, they, they took great care of me. And uh, they paid me th all the way through my one year as a bodybuilder. And they... Um, they paid me all the way through my one year as a bodybuilder. And then jumped right into my debut uh, for them as a narcissist with Bobby the Brain Heaton. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.